Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Rusty Ace playing part two of Back to the Future, the playthrough. Um, we left off here. Basically, uh, Einstein came back and uh, had some woman's shoe in the vehicle. And uh, let's find out what we got to do because we got to find Doc. In the last video, I didn't really uh, examine the items that I had. Um, so we're going to do that right now real quick. I keep this picture of my dad to remind me that even the most hopeless losers can grow up to be pretty cool guys. This notebook has all of Doc's plans for the flux capacitor and the DeLorean. I'd better make sure it never falls into the wrong hands. And by wrong hands, I mostly mean Bip. This time traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. Party. Ah! Party. Ah! <laughs> all right. So basically they're pointing me in the direction to hand this mysterious shoe to Einstein what do you know about this shoe Einie? great Scott I think he's onto something okay now we're getting somewhere How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einie? Yeah, where are we? Oh, so super sensitive. Up there. Up there. Up there. Step away from the door! Ah. Now, let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on! Just as I suspected. Hooligans! Get along now! Scat! Okay. I'm guessing uh, I'm gonna have to give you the shoe. Let me in. I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. A shoe? Now, now, what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Stay there! Okay. <laughs> Go on. Sorry, Einstein. You want to poop on the shoe before I go upstairs? It's like what? psycho. Took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Hmm. Much better. So neat and orderly. Now I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. But... I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Uh, Have a seat, Sonny. She didn't even turn on the the burner, so um hey, you kids put out those cigarettes. Okay, let's see here. Got the shoes. Einstein brought me that shoe from the past. But when in the past? Come on. <laughs> what are these? My editorial trophies. Cat Lover's Quarterly. It's legitimate journalism. Sure it is. Let's look at this wall. <laughs> is that Vice Principal Strickland? 
Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. He's a cross-dresser. Okay. Ah, no, no, look there. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ms. Pretty Whiskers is very particular about who handles her food. It doesn't seem to want to. It's on the table. Ah. There you go. Oh, the candy looks older than I am. Don't touch those! My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. Can I hit her with one of these boxes? Mind if I take a look? Go ahead, dear. Man, these are powerful. I could see Biff going into the video store. Yeah, you wouldn't believe the filth that boy watches. Yeah, he's nothing but an out of control hedonist, just like his father. If there's a clue to find a doc out there, I'm not seeing it. I don't even know where to start looking. Okay, let's talk to this old woman. Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! Oh, my goodness. I know what you're doing behind that tree! Yes? What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue? From 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe. Huh. Hi, what a nosy Nelly. No one likes a busybody, you know. But, oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh, yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. Oh, when was it? Oh, yes, the day that speakeasy burned down. <laughs> the speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. Yeah. Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. If this is your girlfriend, Doc, you have horrible tastes. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch... No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny! Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. Whoever did her voice is so annoying. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. 
Doing some stargazing? No, I set my sights on the lower things. Is that? Chip Cannon! Get away from that hubcap before I call your father! I have nothing else to say to you. I'm done. Don't let me keep you from your business. Ugh. Can I jump out the window, please? Miss Pretty Whiskers? Kitty. Kitty. I'm gonna find you and smother this old lady. Man, she keeps it hot in here. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. And don't touch anything. You're gonna fart in your binoculars. Okay, let's go mess with a pile. Juveniles collide with manure truck. <laughs> nice picture. Ground mansion destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. I have to go through each I newspaper. Brought me this shoe, and Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy burned down. But when did the speakeasy burn down? I at least need to know the year. Firm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall, Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Where is she? Let's go inside. The polite guest stays out of the <laughs> kitchen, Mr. McFly. Get out of the kitchen. I need more info. Yeah, that's peculiar. The water still hasn't come to a boil. I continue talking to this lady. Excuse me, Miss Strickland. I already asked where was that speakeasy. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Don't let me keep you from your business. Uh, what else can I find in this room? Can I get out? Please let me get out. Let me out. Do you mind if I stepped out for a minute? I, I just remembered a video I've got to return. Do you have to go? I get so few visitors these days. I wonder why. And I'd hate to have to tell my brother, your vice principal in charge of discipline, how rude you were to me. <laughs> Especially with graduation coming up and all. And you wonder why your cat ran away. Uh, I don't want to talk to her anymore. I really don't want to talk to her anymore. I'm going to go in the kitchen. Uh, Miss Strickland, how about your tea? Uh, you forgot to turn on the... You! It's spelled with a U! You illiterate vandal! Oh. <sighs> Nineteen thirty two right there. And Biff grabbing a porno. Rebuilt in February, nineteen thirty two. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. Okay. 
so let's go over here and let's turn on this heater. There's the whistle! Surely the water's boiling by now! Okay, we finally have the year. Let's see. Ground broken on sight of former speakeasy, singer vanishes, Hill Valley Expo delights crowd, soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. My newspapers! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let me... No! You've gotten my history out of order! Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Oh, get out! Get out! Get out! Gladly... Hopefully you guys don't have a headache yet from that horrible character. Marty! Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? Are you gonna be a nose body? <laughs> uh... Just up for Halloween. It's a work uniform. It's costume. Uh, didn't I tell you? I, I got the lead in the school play. Uh, we're doing... Grapes of Wrath? <laughs> oh, Steinbeck. Who are you playing? Um, uh... Never mind, you don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing. Right? I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay Is that why you smoke too much? Look at your eyes. I was gone. You ready to go, Einstein? Alright guys, well I'm going to cut the video here. It's going on a little long, but uh, please leave a like if you like the video. Um, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button uh, if you want to see more Back to the Future videos. Thanks for watching.